Well, here on NBC, there was taped Super Bowl, there were baseball games, and yet more people than not, it seemed, watched the Canadian football. What, what do you think? Uh, I still have no idea, to be honest with you, but, you know, this is my second week as Pierre the Canuck. I'm trying to continue my education on Canadian football. The lesson is, think big in Canada. They have big tundra, they have big Rocky Mountains, and boy, do they have big football fields. You'll see a guy run about 140 yards on this play, gets to the opponent's 30. Sometimes a play goes five, five or ten minutes, and they, you're still wondering if they've got a first down. <laughs> if Columbus had discovered football, I think he would have discovered the Canadian kind. Because stand on one end of the field, and you can see the curvature of the earth. <laughs> My pick today, well, I've watched the mighty Calgary Stamps last week. I haven't seen Saskatchewan yet, so I'm going with the Rough Riders minus two. The Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Remember, there's two Rough Riders in that league. Well, I'll take either one. Either I'm one. so desperate for a winner. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Kickoff's coming right up in Saskatchewan, so let's get ready by taking a quick tour of last week's Canadian outposts when NBC Sports presented a doubleheader from the Great White North. Good day. In the beginning, the scoring was a bit confusing. When Edmonton chose not to run it out of the end zone, that was a single, and it scored a point. Is that a baseball score? But when Edmonton came back with three, that was a hockey score. Three to one Edmonton. Is this a Gretzky hat trick? And then there were long bombs complete the end zone that only counted for two, a two-point conversion. Different rules. Okay, uh, there's only three downs in Canadian football and five in America. I know all about it. Four? Four in Canadian and five. Four in Canadian and five in America. Like football everywhere, there are the lighter moments. Double reverses that work, up to a point. Passes that connect in the wrong place. Officials that get too close to the action. And trying to look cool. Who shook the field? So join us in a few minutes when we return to the Great White North. We're out of time. We'll blow the whistle. Game over. Good day. Good day. NFL 82 is about over. Uh, what's your well, thought? I got to tell my friends in Canada, you know, I'm not that bad a guy. I mean, I complain about the big field in Canada, but I've been watching Baldwin Wallace play somebody, and their, their field looks about 60 yards long. So, I, you know, you could do worse. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> well, you know, this whole strike issue, the people I worry about are the little guys, the second string tackles, the wedge breakers. They're the people who really need the money, who have to make house payments, car payments. And I think if the union solidarity is going to break, it's going to come from people like them. Okay, thanks, Mike. That's going to do it. We'll be back throughout the day on NFL 82 with pennant race scores and news. For all of us, I'm Len Berman. Thank you for watching. And as you get a view of Saskatchewan, kickoff's coming your way right after these words from your local station.